Tokenmetrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com. Hello, everyone. My name is Ian Bellina. I'm the CEO and founder of Tokenmetrics. And today, we're going to do a deep dive into Tokenmetrics and show you how to leverage Tokenmetrics to become a better crypto investor. So up here at the top, this is the ratings page. The ratings page is where you can access all the cryptocurrency ratings we have in our system. At this point in time, we have over 100 cryptocurrencies. This page shows you all the different ratings in our system. Then we also have the ability to go through and filter for cryptocurrencies and to do searches. So let's start off by doing a search. So let's say we want to analyze BNB, which is the Binance cryptocurrency. So that's simple. We go through and it pulls in Binance for us. Then let's go ahead and click through Binance. This is the summary page. This page summarizes the holistic token metrics score for a particular token. And this box here, this is the official token metrics score of the project from analyzing over 100 different data points. We use our team of analysts, developers, traders, back tests, and more to come up with this score. At the bottom, we break up each score by fundamentals, technology, and technical analysis. All right, let's scroll down the page and become familiar with the different information on this page. So this is the project description page. This is the fundamental summary page. This is a summary of the technology summary. We have price calendars and we have other news and information for this particular token. So here on the right, we have basic token analytics. Basic token analytics are located here on, at the top for easy accessing. Click the tooltips to get information on what each metric means. Then down here, we have fundamental summary. So our, our analysts go through and give you a summary of the fundamentals at a high level. Then here, our analysts list the all-stars on the team based on our research. You can click on each person to open up their LinkedIn page. Additional links are available on the right for reference. So if you want to find out the company's website, their Telegram group, other social media channels they may have, all that information is here on the right. This is the official list of questions our fundamental analysts analyze on the project as well as their answers. So as you go through here, different questions we look at range from initial screening to scarcity to market standing to development, liquidity, marketing, reputation, team, and security. Here you can find news, social media, discussions, videos, and Google and Telegram trends on the project over time. All right, so let's click to continue onto the technology section. The technology page consists of questions and analysis our developers have done on the project. Please take some time to understand the data on this page because we really go very technical at a deep level. So some of the metrics we look at are innovation, architecture, code quality, going through and doing actual code reviews on the project, mainnet, meaning has a project launched or is it still in its experimental phase, the usability for infrastructure projects, the team, going through the history of developers and their prior commits on GitHub, as well as references for additional research. So let's now go on to technical analysis. The top section showcases the overall technical analysis score from analyzing and backtesting numerous technical indicators. Scroll down and view the available indicators and signals for this project. So as you can see here, based on the different indicators we're looking at, we're bearish on Binance. So the things we look at include oscillators, moving averages, candlestick patterns, trends, volumes, custom indicators. And we also have a chart down here that showcases different candlesticks as well as the volume indicators. So now we're going to open up performance metrics. This page shows crucial information on the token's performance versus Bitcoin. So the idea is, as an investor, if you're holding a particular cryptocurrency, you want to know, are you better off holding Bitcoin versus just cryptocurrency? And this page tells you exactly that. So this goes through and gives us different metrics that traditional investors 
look at when analyzing stocks. And we're bringing these same metrics to all cryptocurrencies in our system. So here we, we can look at the cumulative returns of Binance versus Bitcoin, whether on a linear scale or a log scale chart, we can look at other metrics here on the right. So if we want to look at the Sharpe ratio, the Sortina ratio, max drawdown, the expected rate of return over a day, a month, annually, the risk of ruin, the win to loss ratio, its performance over the last month, three months, six months, year to date, the best return it had on a particular day, the worst return it had on a particular day or month or year, the average drawdown, how much it goes down and how long it takes to be in that particular drawdown. So this is just a treasure chest of data to give you a better investment decision as you're doing research. Moving on, now let's check out price predictions. This is where we're leveraging machine learning to go through and tell you the 30 day price prediction for a particular cryptocurrency. This table shows the monthly accuracy of the price prediction model over the last three months. Please note, past performance is not indicative of future results. This is the daily prediction over the next 30 days. A low and high price range is showcased based on the modest prediction for this day. So as you can see, we go through and we give you the price prediction over the course of 30 days. And if you want to read more information, our data scientists have some notes down here at the bottom that walk you through what each metric means. But at a high level, they're basically two points. Starting here with the first day, we give you a high and a low of a range. And then the model predicts a particular price it thinks this cryptocurrency is going to be at, at this point in time. And it does that over the course of the next 30 days. So as you can see here, it's basically predicting that Binance is going to decrease in value over the course of a month. So this page shows the correlation for other cryptocurrencies to Binance. So looking at the positive correlation, these cryptocurrencies follow the move Binance makes. So the highest correlation available is one. So ZB is highly correlated to Binance, followed by Link, then Vsys, then Algo, then Anchor. This does make sense because ZB is also an exchange. So it does make sense that they follow the same volatility and movements as Binance. On the other perspective, when it comes to negative correlation, HDAC, TTC, SEAL, SRN, and NGC follow the opposite movements of Binance, meaning that when Binance goes up, these cryptocurrencies go down. And when Binance goes down, these cryptocurrencies are likely to go up. So correlation is something that is essential to a cryptocurrency investor's portfolio, because as you add more cryptocurrencies to your portfolio, you want to make sure that you're fully diversified and correlation is a measure to see how diversified your portfolio is, because each asset you add to your portfolio ideally should not be correlated. So if you if you have Bitcoin in your portfolio, it makes no sense to have a cryptocurrency that's also correlated to Bitcoin because you aren't really getting any extra improvement from that. You want something that could possibly could possibly be a hedge to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is going down, you would like to add something in your portfolio that goes up. All right, let's float back up to shore. That was a very deep dive into the token metrics page for a token. Imagine having this data on tokens trading on exchanges. That's the power of token metrics. Now let's go back to the ratings page. So we can reset our filter by just clicking the reset all filters button and that clears the search. Now let's check into the IEOS page. This has token ratings for initial exchange offerings. So this is the IEO page. Our team goes through and does fundamental analysis and technology grade for IEOs before they launch. And then when they start trading on exchanges, we also pull in the price action and provide a technical analysis grade based on that data. And that becomes part of the holistic grade. So everything is fully automated once it launches. The portfolio page is where you can track your cryptocurrency portfolio. Let's dive in and see how this can make us a better investor. The table here shows all investments we have added and some basic metrics. So we can see the grade of every holding in our portfolio, the amount, the value, the purchase price, the ROI in USD and BTC, as well as the total balance and the amount invested and the loss on our investment or the gain in our investment if you happen to be doing well. We can click the button here to add investments to our portfolio. 
And we also have other tabs available. Portfolio allocation breaks down your portfolio by ownership. So as you can see here, and this model portfolio, most of the holdings are in BTC. This person is probably a BTC maximalist. Then portfolio growth shows us the growth of our portfolio over time. And then defense wins championships. It's not about how much you make, but how much you keep. Proper risk management is necessary in crypto. And we plan to educate and make it easier for crypto investors to manage the risk in their portfolio. So let's click here to see the risk metrics regarding this particular portfolio. So this chart here plots all tokens in the portfolio so that you can compare the performance against each other using various risk metrics. So the metrics we have available are alpha, as well as other metrics include beta, sharp ratio, max drawdown, and much more. All right, let's now go to the overview page and wrap things up. So the overview page is basically a start screen. You come in here and it gives you everything in one panel, in one dashboard. So this shows us a summary of our investments. This shows us a summary of the performance of the crypto market. So as you can see, the total cryptocurrency market cap is on a decline. So down here, we can see the day's biggest gainers, losers, and movers across the entire cryptocurrency market. Then down here on the left, we have recent portfolio news affecting our investments in our portfolio. This is purely news for what we hold in our portfolio. So we always have the most up-to-date news. So down here on the right, we, so down here on the right, we have so down here on the right, we have tokenmetrics news and updates from our team. So you can stay up to date on news as we post it. All right, congratulations. You have finished the guided tour on tokenmetrics. This is a deep dive. We're very excited to have you here as a customer. Looking forward to having you in our crypto family. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us using the chat down in, in the bottom right. And looking forward to it. See you on the moon. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com. Disclaimer. Token Metrics Media LLC does not provide individually tailored investment advice and does not take a subscriber's or anyone's personal circumstance into consideration when discussing investments, nor is it registered as an investment advisor or broker-dealer in any jurisdiction. Information contained herein is not an offer or solicitation to buy, hold, or sell any security. The Token Metrics team has advised and invested in many blockchain companies. A complete list of their advisory roles and current holdings can be viewed here at tokenmetrics.com slash disclosures.